Hello, happy new day. This is your ownership babe, Tiffany. Welcome back to this session. This is another continuation from our last session where we talked about five, what I believe were five of my best ownership tips, things that allowed me to be in position not to own, own just physical things, but also to own my thought life, my actions. And when you combine all of that together, what happens is that now you become bulletproof. Now you become, you come to a point where now you're not a part of those statistics where 60% of the people in America are living paycheck to paycheck. You now put yourself in position when you follow, or I know I did, when I followed those ownership tips that I shared with you, it put me in position where I wasn't part of living paycheck to paycheck. I was not, I wasn't anymore in that debt trap. So I became totally debt free, including the home. It positioned me to whereas, you know, now I own my thoughts, which just means that I listen, I hear things, there's so much information out there. It's so much overwhelming information out there. But when you have complete ownership of your thoughts, now you can grab some of that information that is in line with your thoughts, not changing you. See the information, you don't wanna consume 100% of anyone's information and change everything. You wanna make sure, you wanna filter you want to filter it through your system. For me, I filter most things through my higher power, which is God, just to make sure it is aligned with my thought process, aligned with my true purpose in life. So when you become an owner, you are positioned truly to take over the world. So I'm excited. I just want to talk about one of the tips that I talked about, which is just having or committing to a long-term strategy, a long-term saving strategy rather. See, when you think about it, most people are working a job. Now, of course, we know that most people, there's entrepreneurs, people have businesses, they have side hustles, things of that sort. But there's an overwhelming population of people that are working a job, right? And what happens, you know, traditionally, maybe a nine to five could, could be, you know, night hours, but people are working. And what is happening is that you are trading your most valuable gift from God for money. And we understand that that's important. We live here on earth and it requires what? Money. But however, as you are trading that time for money, the playing field, you have to know, and this is the first part of it. And I really want to, before I jump into this, this saving strategy, this is so important to frame the mindset. See, this is what I've always had to do is frame my mindset around any type of mission that I had, any type of mission towards ownership. And you have to frame your mindset and you have to really think about it and say, if you are trading time for money, then the playing field is not leveled. And what that means is that, look, if your time is absolutely valuable, but yet I understand you need money, how do you level the playing field? Well, you level it by committing to a long-term strategy. Now, as I often say, you know, you have to consult your financial advisor to figure out the best strategy, or guess what? You can be your own advisor. It's up to you. I mean, the great thing about being your own advisor is guess what? You should trust you. So either way, seek you know, seek some type of advice because you have to come up with some type of long-term strategy. But I want to make you aware of the issue there. Saving takes time. And everybody, we live in a world right now where everybody, most people, if you think about it, they want it really quick. They want it really fast. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong if you get it overnight. However, for most people, you have to work, you have to commit to a strategy, you have to be committed to that strategy, and you have to implement some good daily habits. So how do you do that? First, you have to have a, a goal, a long-term strategy goal. What is your goal? For some people listening, it may be that you just need a vehicle. That is your long-term strategy because that vehicle is going to open up doors for you. Some people, it may be to own property. I don't know. Maybe that's going to open up doors for you. Some people, it may be that your strategy is to become totally debt-free. And I know personally that will definitely open up doors 
for you. You know, whatever your long-term strategy, your long-term commitment, your long-term goal is, you have to clearly define it. Why? Because once you define what you should be doing or where you desire to be, then it's time to put the necessary steps in place to get there. So what do you do here? You have to make sure that once you do it, that it is in line with your vision as well. Because again, if you hear so much out there, you're gonna consume so much information, people tell you to do this or do that, but you have to make sure you stay true to what? To you. And when you put it together, I will tell you, it has to be in writing. You have to make sure that you are revisiting it every single day. It's sort of like, you know, I know studying Spanish. When I made a commitment to be fluent, I could not go a day without speaking it. Think about it. Whatever your language is, you do not go a day without speaking it. This is why you can speak so well. And that's the same thing when it comes to your goals. You know, you're gonna have to revisit it every day. This is how you get stronger in those goals. This is how you strengthen your commitment. This is how you strengthen your daily habits by revisiting those goals, making sure you are tracking it, making sure that you are doing something every single day. And because it's a long-term strategy, you're gonna take, it looks like you're taking small steps, but remember, small steps are leading to something that are big. And my last closing point is just stay motivated in the process, whatever your long-term strategy is. I know the day-to-day -day life can hit you. As I often say, emergencies are common to all of us, so emergencies happen. There's things that are gonna happen that are gonna truly get you off track. But when you have a plan in place, when you have a plan that you've committed to follow, I promise you, you will know how to navigate through, how to navigate through that issue so you can stay on track to your long-term goals in life. So in closing, remember, keep pushing, don't give up. We are closing out the last quarter of 2024. Yes, I'm excited. You have time. Don't let anyone tell you that you do not have time. Don't let anything distract you. Stay focused, stay committed, and I will see you at the next session. Have a beautiful day. Hasta luego.